My name is Jessica. I'm a nurse here at St. Luke's Hospital on the Plaza. I'm going to help troubleshoot if you get an alarm unable to update timing that should appear right here if you get that alarm. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come to my transducer that has your pressure bag of saline and I'm going to flush it and see if that'll help um, with the timing. If that doesn't help, I'm going to look at my patient. Maybe I need to change out my EKG electrodes and do that. The next thing I would do is I would consider changing my timing. So normally you are set on auto and your EKG trigger source is your trigger source is your EKG. So I would just switch that to semi-auto and either keep it EKG or pressure and see if that would help the timing. The pressure um, or EKG mode in semi-auto is good for a patient's heart rate that's less than 30 or greater than 150. The next thing you want to look at is augmentation. You want to make sure that you are always completely at max. Sometimes it's easy to come over and lower it if you're changing your timing. So you just want to make sure that that is always filled at the max. The next thing you want to do is follow your tubing. Make sure there's no tubing or kinks in the tubing. Make sure at the groin side it's not kinked there. Um, you might also consider repositioning your patient and see if that'll help with your time.